In this chapter, we'll learn about encapsulation. Encapsulation is one of the core pillars of OOP. So let's understand why encapsulation is necessary. So here we have employee class, which contains ID, name, department ID, and salary. Now let's say this code is distributed to various teams, and they started using it. Here's how the client code looks like. So we have client demo class. They create an instance of employee, and since all these members are public, they can directly say even.id, even.name, even.department ID, even.salary. So they are using the data members directly. Couple of months down the line, the team maintaining the employee library decides to split the name into first name and last name. Now, as soon as they start doing this, the client code will start breaking because earlier they were referring to name directly and now that data member is no more available. The other issue is that sensitive data like salary is directly exposed. Generally, there should be a way of only allowing authorized entities to access this data. There's one more issue with this. So assume that client is using the employee as a key in hash map. Now if you accidentally there is a code written that changes the key, this will result in an undeterministic behavior on the client side. Can these all be addressed? Yes, they can. Let's see how. So in the employee class, we have changed the public data members to private. So all of them are private. So which means if you create an instance of employee, we will not be able to do instance.id. Now in order to give read access, we have introduced public getter method. So get id is returning id, get name is returning name, get department id is returning department id. And for salary, since we want control access, we are checking whether the client entity is having access. So if CL is allowed, only then we are returning salary, otherwise it is returning minus one. For employee, the department can change in future. So we have introduced set department ID. Similarly, salary can change. So we have set salary, which is also being passed client to check if the client has got access to it. Then they'll be able to change the salary. For employee, ID and name would not change. So these are being set by the constructor. So you'll see that there is an employee constructor which is taking ID and name and it is setting this. So here is how our client code looks like. So we have employee demo, we have public static void main and in here we are creating an instance of employee and we are able to do a set department ID and we are also able to do a set salary but in order to set salary we have to pass the client so that they can check whether the client is allowed to uh, change the salary. So let's take a look at some of the key points in encapsulation. It's a mechanism by which sensitive data is hidden and relevant information is exposed. It is also called as data hiding. The data members are secured by making them private. Getter methods are provided to read them. Setter methods are provided to write them. Let's take a look at a demo example. In this example, we have employee class in which we have declared four uh, data members, ID, name, department ID, and salary. All of them are public. So which means the client of this, which is employee demo, is able to directly access the data members using the instance variable. So in this case, we have created an instance of employee even, and through even, we are able to get and set these values. So let's try to run this and see the result. It is able to show the newly created employee. So ID is equal to 10, name is equal to John, etc. Now let's say uh, the original team who developed this they want to change the name to first name. Now, as you can see, uh, our code is breaking as well as the client code is also breaking because they don't see anymore the name being a data member, hence it is throwing a compilation error. So that is first problem. The second issue is the salary is a sensitive information. You don't want to expose it to everyone. So instead, there should be some controls over trying to either read this or set this. Now encapsulation can provide us a way to do this. So let's try to see how we can fix both these problems. So in this new version of employee, uh, we have changed all the public data members to private. But if we do so, uh, none of our clients will be able to access it. So we need to provide them getter methods. Here are our four getter methods, get ID, get name, get department ID. And this one is a little special where we are taking client as our argument. And in the client, we have is allowed method, which is telling us whether that client is allowed to access salary. 
Only in that case, we are returning the salary. Otherwise, we are returning minus one. So if you look at the client implementation, it is just mocked client. So it is always returning true just for the sake of simplicity. Now, if you look at uh, all the data members, we have getter methods, but there is no way to set ID, name, department ID and salary. Now, if you think uh, about this, the employee, when employee gets created, only at that time, will be specifying the ID and name. So that will remain constant throughout the history of the employee, right? So we need to provide a constructor which can be able to set these values. So let's do that. So we'll be providing a constructor here. Now, in future, the department of the employee can change as well as the salary, right? So we need to have setter methods that can do that. So let's try to put the setter methods. The setter methods are going to look like this. So set department ID and set salary. As we know, the client is having is allowed and only certain entities which have got the right uh, right level of access, they are allowed to do so. In that case, uh, they can change the salary. If they are not allowed, the salary will remain same. So this is a very simple implementation. So now let's try to run this. Here we have employee demo and in the employee demo we have a static main so let's try to create an instance of class and see this in here we are creating a client which is a dummy client and we have employee uh, employee id 10 and john and then we are setting the department and the salary if we have this let's try to run this so this is in here you can see it is uh, it is correctly printing the employee as our use case was if we change the name to let's say first name you can see that our client code doesn't break it still continues to run whereas of course our employee code is breaking but that is manageable because that is in the purview of the team developing or maintaining the employee code we can easily fix this so we can go here get name and the two string we're all good and if we still try to run this this should work as expected so you can see that it is still printing the employee as is so you can see any changes to the employee class are now not affecting the client code that's the beauty of encapsulation we are trying to make all the data members private and providing getter and setter methods to get and set the values also the, the issue was around accessibility of sensitive data so you can see that we are passing a client object and only entities with appropriate authority are allowed to look at the salary or even set the salary so this is another feature of encapsulation just by making all of them private and providing control access is also possible if we embrace encapsulation so here are some pros and cons of encapsulation it improves security because uh, sensitive data is exposed only to authorized entities it has a minimum impact on the client so changes in the library doesn't cause the client code to break that we saw in the example it improves modularity encapsulated class puts guards on the data that it owns hence it's more modular it is also it also hides the complexity from the client so any derived logic or any derived field logic can be implemented without the client being aware of that now, in terms of the disadvantages we we'll need extra methods to get access to the data members. Also, the deployable code will be larger.